Hi, this is Tweek. Today we're going to make something you haven't made in quite some time. I found an old sock, which means, yep, a sock puppet. Join us! Supplies you'll need for this project are a hot glue gun. Big deal, we're going to be using some hot glue on this project. You'll need assorted fabrics. I've got some faux fur. You'll need a sock. I prefer a men's large woolen sock. You'll need some googly eyes or you could use buttons for the eyes. You'll need a piece of felt for a tongue and you'll need a pair of scissors. Also, assorted jewelries or belts, things you might want to get rid of that we can use to make a collar for our puppet. Now let's get going. I always begin my sock puppets with a sock. And I found a nice stretchy sock that I can use. But more than that, it's the fabric that dictates the puppet that I'm going to make. And I found this faux fabric. Faux fabric is very expensive, 30 to $50 a yard. But I happened upon the reduced section in my craft store, the fabric area. There's a piece of this fabric for $12. I nabbed it because I can make a very cute, very, very cute puppet. I also have an old trapper's hat. And I took another one apart, but this gives you an idea of what I'm going for. If you can't find the fabric, there in the fabric store, you can get old hats, sometimes find them reduced online, and I take them apart to get the pieces that I need. Today, this will become ears. It will. Hang around and find out. <laughs> so I start with the basic, which is the sock. And the sock dictates how big the head is going to be. I take the sock and flatten it out on the table. And I flatten it out so that the heel is facing up, kind of like a mountain. You have to decide to which side of the fabric you want to be out, you want to show. I want the outside of the sock to show. I liked the colors that's going to go well with my puppet. So if I want to make a mouth on this puppet, I need to flip this sock inside out so that I can attach the foam to start making the mouth. So here we go. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to attach the foam to the inside of the sock. And there's the inside. So I'm going to go with this. Since I know I'm making a puppy or a dog, this is the toe of the sock will be the mouth area. The rest of the sock will cover up as a sleeve will cover up your arm. So I'm going to take some pieces of foam. I thought this was, I'm just going to start cutting it. Not, it's not real exacting, but I want a piece of foam on the top and a piece of foam on the bottom. So let me just cut this one down a little bit. And you don't have to be real exacting because the sock fabric itself will kind of squish in on the foam. That's still a little bit wide. But if I have that on the top, then I need a little mouth on the bottom. So I guess what we'll do is find another piece of foam. Yeah, I want something smaller. Yeah, see. So I want the jaw to be this side of foam. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. This will be the bottom and this will be the top. This one still seems a little wide. I'm going to cut it back just a little bit. This is a fun project. It's a messy project, but you know, we can always clean up later. So I've got like a nose I'm trying to go for. Okay, I'm liking that shape. So let's do this one first. I've got my hot glue. I'm going to put a lot of glue on this sock, flatten it out. I'm going to place this foam on that piece and let it adhere. So here we go. First step, I'm going to add a lot of glue. So I'm taking this and I'm going to lay it in on the sock, press and let it adhere. I want the poofiness on the head of this, this puppy. So I'm adding a pretty thick piece of foam. Let's see if that's stuck. It has. Good. Now let's do the back side. Trying to keep the sock flat. And my hands will fit between the two pieces of foam when we flip it back inside out. Right side in. Okay. Let's see if that's stuck. Good. Now I'm going to flip this over. Still got our flat sock. We've still got the head pieces where the heel is. I'm going to fit a little piece here. 
and I'm going to attach that right there. So I'm going to put that on there and let it adhere. Okay, got it. Look at good. So we got like a, a weirdo sandwich here. Two pieces of foam with the sock in between. Now I'm going to hmm, flip this back. Okay, here we go. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> That's a big piece of foam. Gosh, right now it looks like a shark. Ooh, we're not doing a shark today. We're going to do reposition the foam inside. And it's sticking, which is nice. We're going to make a dog. So here's what I've got now. The start of his mouth. My hand goes between two pieces of foam. Ah. If I add more to his head, he got a little face. <laughs> That's a start. You do look like a shark. Stop. You're supposed to be a dog. Oh goodness, so we are that far into our head of our puppy. Now I want to add a little more up here into his head zone. And that means taking another piece of foam. And I'm going to think about the size I want. I like the thickness of the foam. So I'm just going to cut. Okay, got a piece of foam. And I'm going to turn this into his forehead. I can either do it, nope, that's too tall. I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going for like the width of the head. I'm going to have to flip this back inside out again, but it's, I'm trying to get the measurement here. And I want to, oh, I think I like that better. I'm going to curve it down a little bit, and then I'm going to push it inside the sock and use a little bit of glue on the top to hold it in place. Come down a little bit in the front, just to contour it a little bit. I want to go to put this piece inside where the heel is to give him more of a forehead. Okay, here's the inside, what we've got. There's the piece that's glued, and I'm gonna add this piece right in here. So let me show you. We're going to end up with a forehead. Oh my gosh, that's turning out better than I thought it would. I'm never quite sure when I add stuff in how it's going to turn out, and that's kind of a pleasant surprise. You got a very, very long nose there, mister, which goes perfectly in tandem with what I'm thinking of making here. And see, he's got a little bit of a forehead. I'm thinking that's good enough. Yeah? Okay. You're not going to see a lot of this. It's all a part of the just building the form to fit. So I'm going to pull this out very carefully and I'll put a little bit of glue on top of this foam. Let the sock stick to it. There we go. Okay, now push it back. You got a couple seconds before it dries. So we got a bump there where his forehead would be. get an idea of where we're going here. Do you know what kind of dog I'm making? He's got a very long face. I've got his nose and his forehead. What I want to add right now is his mouth and his actual nose. So let's do his nose. I have pieces here that I could use to shape a nose. Ooh, that's a perfect shape right there. I'm looking for something that's kind of big, I like big, big noses. That piece is good. Let's start shaping out a nose. I'm just kind of winging it. Contour a little at the top. I think I'm liking that. So we're going to put your nose and a big tongue and then we're going to go for the fur because the rest comes afterwards. Okay. Get all the scraps out of the way, and I'm going to apply the nose. Here we go, glue gun. Big glob of glue. Nose. Push it on tight. Actually, by the time we get the fur on, we're not going to see a whole lot of the nose. But I want it to be there. 
The nose is on. Oh my gosh, is he going to be cute? Are you going to be cute? Yes. Okay. Trust me, he's going to be cute. Next, I want to do the mouth. And I've got a piece of pink felt here for a tongue. I'm thinking, do, do I want to put in some teeth? I'm thinking, no. He's going to be more mm, done with you. And start thinking about what do you want his tongue to look like? How long do you want it to be? So we're just going to shove it in there and glue it, and it'll hang out a little bit. You see what's happening here? I think it needs to be a little thinner. I like that the seam is in the inside that'll help hold it. And I'm going to fold this in half and see if I can get it a little more symmetrical. Let's see. I'm going to pretend like you're cutting out a cathedral window. We have set here. So we have what I think will be a good tongue. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing. That's a good sign. That means stop. This is lay in a bunch of glue. Be careful because it's hot. I'm just going to lay this here and then I'll come in with my fingers. Some of the heat is off. And I like the way, see, as you push it in, it puts a little bit of a fold, like, <laughs> like a real tongue. This is just fun, isn't it? This is, I think this is so fun. Okay, so we've got a tongue and a mouth <laughs> and a nose. And he's ready to get his fur, so that's next. Here we go. We're making like a sheepdog, maybe like a bearded collie. So I go halfway with the material over his head. I'm going past his forehead. See his forehead's back there. I'm going almost all the way up to his nose. And I'm going to make sure I come down where the two seamed edges meet. And I'm going to glue, 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 glue. And I'm going to glue all the way up to his neck. And I'm going to glue around his nose. That's where I'm going to start first. So I've got all this excess to play with. This is where I think is the center of the fabric. Anyways, you just have to work with the fabric. Work with the fabric you've got. Uh, the fabric loves the glue. It is going to stick. There's so much fur here that once you touch it, it sticks. See? I'm not getting it apart now. All those little hairs. But okay, so now, how far do I want you to come down? I want your fur to come almost to your nose. Not quite. God, the fur goes every which way, which is perfect. And I'm just going to glue that to the sock. Okay? Here we go. Lots and lots of glue to hold it tight. And then press gently down. So we went to all the trouble of making his face or his, his head, but that'll just add in some of the dimension for what the dog's head will be. So that's already stuck to the sock. Now I'm going to come around either side of his face and keep going and then head. Okay, so we've got a cheek line going here. Is he looking to me like a an afghan or a bearded collie, I'm thinking? Come on. Nope. Careful of the fur. If it got stuck, you could cut it off. You could cut the fur, the strands with the scissors. So come around either side of his face and we're going to meet up in the chin. Okay. Flip you over puppy. And see that really sticks well. I, I like the way the fabrics adhere to each other. It makes, for somebody who doesn't sew, that makes it very nice. Got to meet up chin and chin. And now I want the two want the furs to mix up with each other. I don't want you to see a seam. I just want you to see dog. You're a crazy furry beast. I gotta put a little more right in there. Yeah, make sure you have a lot of glue on hand because see how that's the fur sticking? Yeah. Now I'm in the center of his chin like that. Tongue is still okay. 
and I'm just pressing. I'm gonna wait for that to adhere. Oh goodness gracious. We need a groomer, dog. Now, see what we've got so far? Now I'm going to follow that seam down the front. And it's a little bit puckered. That will be okay. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and get it seamed up best you can without getting the fur in there. And that's now I want this. Want the fur to really mix up and get mangled with each other. Yeah. Just kind of rubbing it and pushing it and I want to add a color around his eyes and ears and that's going to be in here somewhere. So I'm going to kind of floof the material back a little bit. Think think it's like a crazy hairdo. Want some of it going that way, some of it coming this way. Oh, hairs everywhere. And I'm going to lay this piece of fabric in here and I'm going to glue it. Okay, and then I'm going to fashion the ears up. And you'll see why when I get done here, but this is my, the method to my madness here. So he's going to have that around his eyes. And then I'm going to bring this flap from the trapper's hat up to create his ear. So it gives it a natural fold. That's the idea. So here we go. I'm going center of his head. I want his ears to be symmetrical. Glue that together first. So I'm going to put just a bead of glue to help me along here. And I'm just going to lay it here on either side and a lot of glue and then I'll fix the ears. There's a lot of fur here. Just flatten out a little bit. I just want, it doesn't have to be exacting. I just want the two pieces to stick together and there's so much fur here that I imagine they'll do that pretty well. Okay, so now that is there, see? It's not there very well. So I'm gonna start adding a little more glue and what you're doing now is you're using the fabric, the furs, to stick with each other. I'm really squishing down on this head to hold it. So when you use them as a puppet, you can flop them around and he'll stay together. Oh, this side stayed really well, so let's add a little more glue in the front here. Mostly to the, the straight part of this trapper hat. Okay. Good. See? See? Looks like he's wearing a headband. So now I've got these two flappy ears. I'm going to come down a little further with this piece of fabric and run it along the side there. Just going to get this ear on here as best as I can. Press it into the main head. Good. Now I'm going to bring this ear flap up like that. I'm just going to bring it up and flap it. You're going to have a little bit of curve in the ear exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to put some glue here and we can fine tune it as we need to. You've got more of an ear shape. See, just by using the trapper hat that's already been sewn, you got a perfect ear. Okay, other side, same thing. Now that side hooked up really well. Wow, that looks, that looks really good. So I'm just going to bring these two together like I did on the other side. A bunch of glue right here. Try to keep these pieces intact because they are nicely seamed and reinforced. So I add a little more glue to his ears to hold them in place and then I'm using the fur to glue together and you end up with, well it doesn't look like you see a seam at all because there's so much fur, but this is what he looks like so far. You got the sock in there, you've got his nose and his mouth and you've got his ears. He's not done. I'm going to add his eyes and then I'm going to do a few more things. You need eyes. Well, a lot of dogs have fur over and you can't see their eyes. But we want to see your eyes. So I've got a few pieces of very thin foam and just not even circular. It's just random. And I'm going to place them someplace in here. I want them kind of embedded in the fur. And then I'm going to add a couple of googly eyes thinking it's hard to see with all the fur, but I think I'm going to go right about in there and just add some glue and let the foam sit and pushing it into the fur. So I've got the first one attached and I'm going to put the second one. And what you're doing is you're just giving a little more uh, interest to his eyes. So I'll show you what he looks like 
without his googly eyes so far. He needs to be furrier, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. So we got you this far. Goodness gracious, I'm going to be wearing more of your fur than you are. And then I'm going to set the two eyes in. You got to be careful with these googly eyes because they're plastic and sometimes the hot glue melts them. So I'll wait a second and then put them on. And now we have this much of our doggy. Hmm. Pretty cute, but you're not done. You're not done. No, you're not. Here we go. This is when I want you to look more like a bearded collie, which means you need more fur on the top. So I'm going to take another piece of scrap from the white faux fabric and I'm going to lay it over the top. And then I think you're going to be close to being done. Extra fabric. Here we go. This is crazy to cut because fur gets everywhere. You go over here. So I'm going to look for the seam. See all the cut edges? You can pretty much just pull the fabric and pull the, uh, the, the fur off. So I'm looking for the seamed side, and that's right here. Take that seam side on one edge, and I'm just going to start cutting. I'm cutting probably about a foot in. Here we go. It's easy to cut, pretty much. It's just the residue of the, the fur. See, I'm zipping right through it. Okay, let's take the part we're not using and get it out of the way. I just come along the edge that I cut and just pull at the fur to get the excess out. Okay, and I save some of this back in case I want to augment with eyelashes or eyebrows or something. So this also helps make his fur look more, more real, more furry. So, so far I've gotten this much out. Hopefully the rest of it's on that piece I just discarded for a moment. So, there we've got puppy side. This will head towards the back. The seamed part is in the front. Come on over, puppy. We're not done with you. Definitely huggable dog. And I'm going to take the seamed spot and I'm going to go over his eyes behind his ears. I didn't know you were going to be so big, by the way. So I'm going to trim his little face a little bit, but I'm going to make use of all this fur. You see all that? So over his eyes, half and half. Like It's like you're getting him out of the shower and you're putting a towel over his head. Think of it that way. So we're going to glue that seam and use the ridge of his eyes and behind his ears to put the fur. Okay, that's what we're doing. Just put down a little bit first. I know you're covering up fur that you, I probably could have saved on, but it all adds to the dimension of the pup too. It makes him squishable and huggable and it adds to his bulk, so I don't mind. Let's put some more in here. And I'm just trying to squish the two fabrics together. It's hot, the fur does not protect you much at all. I want it to look like his fur is hanging out over his eyes, and it is. It's good. Okay, what I'm doing is taking on each side, just coming partially down the seamed side. Thank goodness there's a seam side. A little less fur to fly. And then I'm just kind of laying it along his front here, the side, and just letting the fabrics, just the furs kind of work into each other. See? Because I want him to be furry, and he's a big old mess, and he's been out there chasing sheep you think anyways they aren't all perfect they're crazy wild furry right here's what we've got so far but I want more dimension in his head and how I'm gonna do that is this I'm gonna take this excess that was here and I'm gonna fold it up to give him more of a head hold on let me see what I'm doing here fold this fabric up and in <laughs> I want it over your face more. Okay, I think that's what I'm going for right there. What do you think? Yeah. 
futz with it until you get it how you like. Every little puppet is different. And this is another reason why it's so good to have the extra fur, because you can make those strands all hug each other with the glue, and then he will stay together and be one giant fur ball. So here we go. I'm going to start adding some glue to this edge and making the fur. I'll stick, try to pull the fur out a little bit. Lay some glue. Hopefully they, they will stick to each other. I'm sure I'll have to do more. I'm just mushing it together. Got lots left to play with, so I'm just going to come along this edge of fur that I see here, and I'm just going to start gluing those segments. The whole thing is you don't want to see that there's a seam. You just want to see fur. So I'm just going around and making the furs stick to each other. I want him to look a little more realistic. I want his fur to be all over the place. I want you to be sort of looking through your fur. And so I'm using some of this glue to help attach to the ears a little more. Just putzing with them till I get a look that I like. I'm thinking he's just about done. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. I don't know. What do you think? Do I have to do something else to you? <laughs> that sure is a big dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think his his tongue needs a little line. Like the dogs have that little line that's in their tongue. And I think I should put a collar on you if I could find one. I think that would be really cute. So let's put your collar on. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> His eyes kind of move. Okay, hold on. Let's put a collar on you. There we go. Here's a piece of letter from an old belt. Let's see if that works. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh my gosh, it's it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so you're getting a collar that's an old belt. Now it's a dog collar, and I'm going to glue it, folks. Two pieces of faux leather to go on our faux fur dog. Lots and lots of glue here. Stay there. Don't get on the fur, please. Let that get hard. And the puppy has his collar. All right, we're gonna add just a, I'm using a, like a, what color is this, a dark red marker. I'm just gonna bring a very simple line straight down his tongue. It doesn't have to be real dark. It have to be real thick. But just to give you an idea that that's his tongue. Both sides. And I'm going to show you, here's our puppy. And there you have it. <laughs> Look, we've got our dog. I didn't know he'd be this big, but he is. And that's what happens when you get a really great deal on fur <laughs> and you decide to make a puppet. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you know when our next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, adopt a pet or make one with some faux fur. <laughs> It's very much fun and you'll just love him. <laughs> See you again.